Is heavy metal testing a waste of money and is it making you sicker? In this video, I'm gonna cover why I think heavy metal testing is really a bad idea and also um, what to do instead of doing that and give you a little bit of education on how our body actually stores and what it does with heavy metals. So um, if you're uh, new to this video, this channel, uh, my name is Andrew Hanoon and me and my team have helped over 2,700 women learn the tools to release the weight, get their health back, and keep the weight off for good with a healthy, sustainable, whole foods lifestyle change. I have my background in naturopathic medicine. I have my doctor's degree of naturopathic medicine. I chose not to get licensed so that I can help people all over the world virtually in the way that we do. Um, I have multiple other kinds of degrees, but more importantly is I've helped a lot of people get a lot of women who've tried everything else get great results with their health and their weight, even though they've literally tried everything else and they've had hysterectomies and thyroid removed and they've had um, cancer, they've had um, Hashimoto's, they've had um, uh, sleeves, gastric sleeves, gastric bypass, uh, whatever, you name it. And so in this video, what I want to do is, in these videos, show you how to can take back control of your health and give you the inside scoop. Um, so with regards to heavy metal testing, um, where do we start? So the problem with heavy metal testing, right, is that, you, you know, you can do hair analysis, you can do, you know, a fat biopsy, you can do urine sample, feces, and all of these are a clue as to why heavy metal testing is a waste of money in the first place, is because at least in my opinion, you your heavy your body excretes heavy metals in many different facets. So it like through your skin, through your breathing, through your hair, which is why you can find it in your hair, um, through your urine, through your feces, and even through in your, it stores them in your bones, it stores them in your brain, it stores them in your fat cells, and even that like as, as soon as you you know they, they mobilize too. They don't just stay in one spot. So if if you're testing every single piece of your body at the exact same time then yes maybe you can have a small glimpse into your heavy level heavy load heavy metal toxicity right if you're testing um you know your uh urine your feces your fat biopsy your bones you're testing your hair you're testing all of your different kinds of tissues your sweat everything at once then maybe you can have a picture. But if not, then good luck. Because different metals, first of all, get excreted in different ways depending on their size. So some metals are too big for a certain, getting eliminated certain ways, and so they, your body eliminates them another way. And a lot of times, heavy metals will move inside your body. They don't stay in the same place. And even with hair mineral, hair analysis testing, you know, um, the the those are months old like this this your hair could be a, a months a, a reflection of months away from where your your state of your body is now so months previous so it's not even giving you an accurate indication of where you're at now and so this is the problem with a lot of the testing out there right now is it your body is way too complex to be able to um, know how uh, to to be able to say this is exactly where it is. And I think there's some viability to testing for sure. I just don't think heavy metal testing is at this where it is, the stage that it's at right now is a viable option. Um, and, and what happens is people get tested for these heavy metals and they go on these horrible heavy metal detoxes. And those are sometimes even more dangerous because if you're, if you're trying to pull the heavy metals out of your system, but your body's not able to detoxify it properly because your liver is backed up because um, you, you don't have enough of the, the nutrients to sustain that because your body is not capable of sweating it out properly or your, your organs of metabolism can't handle it like your kidneys, you're going to be in trouble. You know, you're going to feel sick and it can do some serious damage. So what happens is people go in to get these tests done and then the, the physicians are like, well, now that we have these numbers, let's go ahead and pull them out. <laughs> not a great idea a lot of the time. You really got to work on the body's detoxification abilities first. And then once you ramp that up, then you can start to slowly get them out. And that's at least just my perspective. Again, I'm not diagnosing, I'm not treating, I'm not 
um, claim to cure anything here. I'm just giving you an education of what I've, the research I've done and the, the uh, incredible minds I've had exposure to in this field. And so, uh, in my opinion, a much better approach is to, first of all, just kind of evaluate what are the big, you know, what are the big things right now that, that could be influencing your heavy metal load? So, for example, do you have mercury fillings? That's a huge thing, right? If, if so, you might want to consider, I'm not saying get them removed, you might want to consider getting them removed. Uh, first of all, you want an extremely experienced dentist. Um, you want, and preferably a natural dentist who, who, who specializes in this to do it because if, if you do it wrong, you can actually leach more mercury into the body um, than, than just keeping it there. So you want to be careful uh, when you get it removed, but you, you know, possibly get it removed with an experienced dentist, holistic dentist. Um, you know, so that that's one is mercury, you know, the water source that you have, make sure that if you're drinking well water or some that kind of water from your pipes that, you know, the, the pipes aren't, you know, there could be copper or lead or, or some kind of um, problem with your, your water consumption. So make sure the water you're drinking is very filtered. Okay. That's very important. Um, the food you're eating, you know, obviously you're not in China. So, well, if you're probably watching this, you're not in China. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of mental toxicity there with the food, but you know, the food that you're eating here, make sure that, that, that you're obviously not consuming foods that are, um, you know, it's very high in mercury in terms of fish, right? So obviously, you know, tuna and swordfish and there's, you can Google fish high in mercury. So you want to limit that for sure. Um, and, you know, try and buy organic because the soil is a lot richer in, in better nutrients and minerals, which can overcome the uh, other issues, for example, um, you know, Alzheimer's, uh, a big thing is uh, they're finding that with those who have Alzheimer's, they have a zinc deficiency and copper and zinc compete for the same place in the body. And a lot of people have excess copper and therefore less zinc and in copper is a heavy metal. And so it's not necessarily bad, but it is in abundance. So you want to make sure you're I mean, getting too much exposure through to copper. Um, so it's, it's more about looking at your environment in, in finding what your vulnerabilities are, depending on where you're living and the exposure you're getting to the environment and, and really trying to clean that up. Right. And, and I'm not going to go into all those details in this video because it's going to be a long video. I'm just trying to give you an overview, how to think about this, think differently about this. The next thing you want to do is just naturally ramp up your, your body's ability to detoxify. So, you know, you think of your liver as a detox organ, but it's not the only one. Your kidneys, your skin, your gut, these are all detox organs. Your lungs is also a detox organ. So start, start treating your whole body with respect. It's not just about liver cleanses. You know, liver is only a part of the detoxification process. There's a lot of other organs. So instead of trying to just like throw a bunch of like, I don't know, um, silly marin, which is also known as milk thistle. It's a Latin name for milk thistle. Instead of trying to throw that at your liver and say, here, detoxify, detoxify. No, it's not enough. You need to eat properly. You need to have the right signals, right? And so you want to reduce the things coming in. You want to take care of your skin products because whatever's going on your skin is going into your bloodstream. You want to make sure you're taking care of your water, your food, your thoughts. These are all very important. Um, if you're on prescription medication, do your best to work on your health so that you can start to come off of those things with the guidance of your prescribing physician. Okay, uh, that's very important. Um, and, and so those are some ways that you want to make sure that you're supporting the body. Now, when you're stopping the toxins from coming in or you're reducing the flow, which is the first thing we talked about, the second thing you want to do is um, support the body in the nutrients. So eating whole foods, the right blend of foods. So you want to focus a lot on your allium vegetables, your cruciferous vegetables are great for detoxification. Um, you get great protein sources. Believe it or not, your body needs protein in order to be able to detoxify. It has a lot of, it needs amino acids from the protein. Okay, so vegans, take note of this. You know, if you're a vegan and you're watching this or a vegetarian, protein is extremely important for detox. Okay, so getting your protein in, you know, fruits have a lot of vitamins and minerals in them too, so that's important, right? So balanced nutrients, um, influx of nutrients in your diet. 
Um, water is important to flush everything out, right? And it's important that you start breaking down fat because your, your body's principal reason for fat cells is not to store calories, but to store toxins. So you wanna make sure that you're, you're um, breaking down fat, you know, you're losing fat, you're releasing fat. And most people, women over 45, this is the most difficult for, thing for them, right? And it's kind of catch 22. Your body won't release fat if it's in a toxic state, but it also needs to release the, tox, the fat in order to get the toxins out of the body. So you have to do that by liberating and enhancing the detox process so it feels comfortable to release the toxins out of the fat cells. So that's something that's important to remember too. Um, and uh, what, what else was I gonna say? There's, um, okay, so you gotta get the nutrients is number two, number three is, um, you know, start, start sweating more, right? So sauna, being outside, these are really, you know, being inside the sun and sweating, being more active because your body releases a significant amount of toxins through your skin cells. And also when you breathe more, you're releasing more toxins through your breath. Um, you know, make sure you're, you're urinating a lot because by drinking the water and then you're, you're going to the bathroom number two, right? Um, because some of the toxins are released in your stool, right? So if you're constipated, guess what? You're gonna be toxic, um, very toxic. So, um, you know, these are, these are all things to focus on, right? And, and make sure that you're getting everything right. And, you know, I, I've never ever um, had a heavy metal test for a client, and yet we have our clients who've had full of heavy metals and they feel so much better, you know, a lot of times after working with us. And we don't do heavy metal testing and we don't do specific supplementation for it. It's because the body knows, you know? I, 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 I'm a firm believer the body knows what to do with with toxins, we've been exposed to them for millions of years and heavy metals and it's no different than anything else and if we give it the right tools and we stop burning it, we can we can make good changes in our health. Um, and so I, I'm not here to knock down any healthcare professionals at all who do testing, but I just want you to be, be aware that testing has a lot of its flaws and limitations and I just believe there's a better way. If you like this video and you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, comment, like. Uh, I love reading the comments. And if you're watching this in the education corner, then I'd love to hear your comments on there as well and what, what videos you like to see and what you like about this video specifically. Lots of love. Take care.